Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C Squad. Over here we do beauty, fashion, lifestyle, vlogs, and a bunch of university content. So if you like the sound of that, then hit the subscribe button below, follow me on Instagram, and join the fam. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. So today I'm going to be telling you guys all about what it's really like being a computer science student. So many of you guys have been leaving comments on my most recent video asking me to do this. I'm going to be telling you guys about everything pretty much and I am planning on doing a separate video about computer science at Vitz University specifically because I really want to tell you guys all about your first year modules and what those entail and what the contact hours are like and things that you should expect and tips and tricks on that but here I'm just going to be telling you guys about computer science and if you think about doing computer science then this is a really good video to just kind of give you an overview and, a, and an idea of what to expect. So the first thing we should probably get into into is what is computer science so I have a little definition written down so if you see me looking down that's why but according to Google computer science is the study of computation and information it deals with the theory of computation algorithms computational programs and the design of computer systems hardware software and applications that sounds like a lot but basically what computer science is is just dealing with algorithms and solving problems and basically developing software and applications uh, what what kind of jobs can you get with computer science there's so many jobs that you can get you guys like a data scientist software tester a video game or mobile app developer a web developer network architect business analyst product manager there are a bunch of things my dad did computer science at university and him and his friends all did computer science and they do such different jobs like my dad works at a bank now so it literally tells you that there's so many different things i think the fundamental thing about computer science though is that it really teaches you problem solving and that can really be applied in a lot of areas so there are a lot of job opportunities with computer science so now the question i get a lot is why did i actually choose computer science so basically when i was in grade 11 i was having a really hard time picking you know what i wanted to do in university since i had to apply in matric and it was like a few months until matric and i just ended up doing like an aptitude test online and i'd previously done an aptitude test through my school and that one I didn't really like the results because it told me that I was best suited to be an accountant or somewhere in the business field and to be honest with you like I just didn't see myself there so I did another one online and it pretty much told me that because of like my personality type that I'd probably be best suited to be like a web developer or like a digital consultant or that kind of thing but definitely working with computers which I do think was pretty accurate because I do like you know working with computers and stuff like I do just like being in front of my computer and in high school I did computer applications technology and I really enjoyed that and so I really did sit and I was like okay this kind of like makes sense so maybe computer science is something that I could do so what I did before I made the final decision is my computer applications technology teacher actually also taught IT so I had her do some extra lessons with me so I'd go to school at like 7 a.m. like an hour before school started and I would just sit with her and she would just teach me just about coding and just the basics of Java and all that stuff which I definitely recommend like computer science is not one of those things where you should be like oh I, you know I'm interested in computer science and then you just go into first year and you've never coded a day in your life and you're just like let's see how this goes don't do that it's definitely something that you need to do beforehand you need to have you know some knowledge about see if it's even something that you're interested in because coding is really not for everybody so i definitely recommend doing like a boot camp of some sort or just doing courses online there's a site called udemy i'll link it down below and they have a bunch of affordable courses but yeah you should definitely just get your feet wet and see if it's something that you're really interested in so then we get what kind of classes do i take so obviously the classes that i kind of take are a little bit different Different from what I did at Vits versus what I'm doing at University of Sussex but basically you just do like an intro to programming so they will be some type of course that will be running down variables and assignment and just like the basics of programming keep in mind that like these courses kind of do 
go fast especially at university like if you were to do IT at school in high school they would probably go through concepts a little bit slower in university it's literally it's like that they go through it really quickly so you do need to spend a lot of time on your own and teaching yourself how to program uh, we do a lot of maths courses or and FITSA was more maths courses at University of Sussex. It's more like they touch on maths concepts. So you do need to have a certain level of aptitude for maths. And I know, you know, there are people who say you need to be good at maths to do engineering. And there are a lot of engineering students who may not be great at maths. So I can see how that goes, but I think you really will have a better advantage if you are good at maths already. We also do computer networks, operating systems, a lot of analysis of programs, and you should expect to do some group projects. So when I was in FITS, I did a mobile app uh, with a group and then at University of Sussex we did a program as a group as well so you should expect to be doing some group projects and also a lot of universities have your final year project which you do by yourself so yeah be prepared for that now a question that everyone seems to love to ask is is it hard and yeah it is <laughs> once again i always say i don't think there's a university degree that is easy necessarily but i will say computer science is a lot harder than some other degrees and i'm pretty sure i read somewhere online that it's like in the top five hardest degrees so yes it is hard and then how many hours of studying do you have to put in i will say it differs from university to university i think at WITS, I didn't spend as much time studying as I do at University of Sussex, but I do think you need to spend a huge chunk of time studying. How do you balance school and your social life? So I will definitely say like it is possible to have a social life when you're doing computer science. However, I will say if you're seeing your BCom friends or your BA friends, you know, having a free Friday night and you can't have a free Friday night because you have to sit and code, you will find that that happens a lot like you're just not going to have as much free time as other people do and that's completely normal there have been times especially at sussex where i've been in the labs on a friday night or saturday night pulling an all-nighter well i don't really pull all-nighters i pull like half all-nighters and i'll be in the labs until 2 3 a.m coding and trying to make things work because the thing you need to remember about coding is that there's really no way to bs it and I will say if you're doing a BA subject like maybe psychology and you have an essay due and you only understand like maybe 50% of the work, you can kind of BS your essay and you can just kind of write things down and you can probably still pass. With computer science, if you have code that needs to output something and it's not outputting something, you're going to be staring at that computer until it outputs something. That's just the reality of the situation. So when I was in first year, I would even have times where I'd be working on code for like maybe a week, maybe two weeks and things just weren't working working out and even in my dreams I would then start dreaming about code and I'd wake up in the middle of the night and I'd have a notepad next to me and I would just write down what I wanted to try and code and yeah then I'd wake up the next morning and try and code it and see if it works so that's really what the situation is unlike with an essay where you can just sit and write it and you can be done with it with coding you're never done until it's executing what you wanted to execute i will say as well you need to adjust your grade expectations and this actually goes with anybody who's starting university you cannot be expecting to get 85 percent or 90 percent like you were in high school i will say it is possible to get a's in computer science modules and i have definitely gotten them but there will be times when you're scraping through a subject and you literally just do the bare minimum and you just pass it and that is completely normal now i also get a lot of comments about people talking about how it's cool that i'm a female that does computer science and how many females are in the industry is it male dominated and all that stuff and yeah i think you can say in any stem field it is going to be male dominated i will say at vits it's a little bit better we're in first year i would say maybe like 40 percent of us were, were women yeah i think around there but definitely at university of sussex when i walk into a lecture i can probably count on my fingers the women who are there like literally i can count on there so yeah there are 
definitely less women than there are males in the field. And I will say, even when people ask me what I'm studying and I'll say, oh, I'm studying computer science, there is like a lot of shock and surprise and people are like, really? Like, are you sure <laughs> that's what you're studying? So that happens a lot as well. I've never experienced any kind of like outward sexism from anyone like guys are not just going to like disregard you and just not listen to you because you're a woman at least i haven't experienced that myself but i will say when i was in first year at vids um i was sitting in my class it must have been like the first or second day or something so i'm sitting in one of my computer science classes waiting for it to start and then this guy walks up to me and he's like uh you know this class is computer science right and i was like yeah and he's like oh you do computer science and i was like yeah so that happens maybe people will just kind of be taken aback that you do that the subject but yeah it's okay and it's it's kind of normal but yeah you won't see as many women in your computer science courses as maybe other courses now the last thing i'm going to touch on is do i wish i had chosen a different degree and this is kind of like a catch-22 for me so definitely when i was in high school and i was kind of learning the basics of programming i was enjoying it and i was enjoying the concepts and stuff but i will say that i don't think coding comes as naturally to me as it does for some people i know there are a lot of people who work hard to become good coders but i will say there are a lot of people that i studied with where it just really came more naturally to them where if we had a lab they could finish the lab in the allotted time and i would have to spend an extra week or two on it so that is one of the things and i think i realized when i was at fits that i don't have the passion for computer science that i feel like i should have and i think people need to be aware that you need to love computer science to do it and that's why i say it shouldn't be something that you just decide to do on a whim and you decide to apply for it and you go to university without any coding experience which happened at vits where probably 70 percent of people were learning how to code for the first time please don't do that to yourself that is a bad idea because you might realize that you don't like it and i know in first year we had like 350 people doing computer science by the time we got to second year we maybe had like 150 students we literally lost so many people because people just realized it wasn't for them so you definitely need to see if it's for you before you try and do it so for me i don't really have that passion that i would want to have i used to see at vets or even at University of Sussex where people will be sitting and they'll be talking about the latest developments in computer science and you know they'll be talking about programming languages and they're people who are super into it like are super interested in the subject and I'm gonna be real that's just not me I don't code in my free time I really don't I only code when there's an assignment due and I realized that that is a problem so if you're gonna be one of those people where you only code because you have an assignment due I'm gonna be real computer science is not for you and I'm gonna be willing to admit computer science is maybe not for me and you know it is what it is I'm already this far in so I'm just gonna power through but I've definitely realized that it is not something I am passionate about and it's not something I see myself doing however I don't wish I had chosen a different degree just because I don't think there's anything that really fascinates me enough to study it. I've definitely looked at like psychology courses and accounting and criminology and all these different courses and there's nothing that really fascinates me enough for me to study it. So it's not a case of I have regrets studying computer science or like I wish I had done something else because if someone asks me right now like if I could go back in time and pick another degree. I don't know what I'd pick. I'd probably just stick with what I'm doing now. So I think the main point that I want to get across to you guys is that if you're thinking about doing computer science, definitely apply for some boot camps, do some courses online, code in your free time, get textbooks about coding, and really see if it's something that you can picture yourself doing because if you hate coding, you're pretty much gonna hate your degree 70% of the time. If you guys have any more questions for me, please drop them down in the comments below so that I can touch on them when I do my video about computer science at Fitz University. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the C Squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I post every Wednesday and Sunday at 5 p.m. UK time. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.